I'm Christine O'Malley and my company is Alliant Quality Partners and my tip that I would like to share with folks is I use a color palette. When so what I do is I add text boxes onto a page, just size them like that and I'll make copies of that. Let's say for example there are three colors we're working with. Put all of my text boxes in line here and I group them, just line them up nice here. And then I give each one the color that it's supposed to be. So I'll go into the properties and let's just say for example the color palette is an olive color and let's see what goes good with olive. Well, let's go with the purple. And let's go with a gray, silver. And so let's say those are my colors. <clears throat> what I will do is I will group this. And, oops, that's the grid. Group, okay. There we go. And if these are custom colors, what I'll do here is I'll put the RGB value, and I'll just use a fictitious value here for this sample. 231450780. And then this one, again, just repeat what the RGB value is for each of the colors. RGB, oops, 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 RGB. One two zero four five zero seven seven five. Okay, and you just list that. Now, when you need to use these colors, and these are only visible to me, so I can actually take that group and each of those items. And what I do here is I could actually also list what it is in my left pane or my uh, title explorer, and I can put that information there. So maybe I'll call this Olive RGB. And so then I know what that is. And I repeat that for each one of these. Then as I'm in my course and I need to create a button or whatever, then let's just do that. Um, tools, let's say we need the button wizard. We'll go in there, we'll create a custom button. And next and we want it to be a certain color, then all I have to do is then say select and I pick my color. And that's my tip.